Hi everyone, my name is Liang Jin. My short story is about a mother and her child. This story happened in a small city in China. It is located in an earthquake zone. So small earthquakes often occur. One day the ground shook violently in order to allow her child to survive. The mother used her body to support a cement board. Leaving a living space for her child, she tried her best to protect her child when people searched and rescued. When I saw this scene, mother kneeling on the ground and her hands on the ground, this purchase was deeply imprinted in people's minds. This mother's fate really made people feel that in the face of life and death, she chose to die, left her life to the child, and gave the child a second life. Because of the protections of his mother's body, he was unharmed. When he was taken out, he was still asleep quietly. His sleeping face made everyone present feel warm. The uh, company doctor came over to protect for some examinations and uh, found that there was a mobile phone. The doctor subconsciously sub looked at the screen of the phone and found that there was a text message that had already been written on the screen. A mother who is uh, parting from life and death may think a lot a lot of when he is dying. Thinking about the future of her child, she wants to see a lot of things to her child, even to give her life a garden. But a thousand words only converge into one sentence. Dear baby, if you can live, you must remember that I love you. This story reminds me of the wings of deserve we have seen this semester. The angels in the film are said to roam to the world invisibly. They are like fathers and mothers, like ancestors as far as imagination can reach, and they often shuttle by our side to protect us. For our, um, for our actions. When I was young, my family members often chanted in ancestors worship during festival, blessed by the ancestors, peace and safety. At the time, I often ima uh, imagined my dead relatives died and possess superpowers which can resolve the dangers we are about to encounter and even give hints and instructions when we make decisions. Therefore, I'm always afraid of doing bad things and being discovered by the ancestors around me, just like a kind of primitive religion. This is my story. Thank you for listening.